Hey everybody, modern day shiny Sephiroth here. Just checking in to let you all know that the reason I haven't been posting as much often is because uh, I took the summer off for paternity leave, uh, but also I uh, joined my university's wrestling team, which has uh, taken up a lot of my time. I've been uh, doing uh, daily preseason training just to get ready. Uh, the season's starting up soon, so that I took a lot of the free time that, that I had. Um, as well as uh, uh, finally being able to build up some uh, space in my phone to start recording again. I had a huge backlog that was preventing me from even editing. So uh, that those things slowed up. But anyway, the, the reason that I'm, I'm mentioning this and starting the video off with me in the modern day in September of 2024 is to let you all know that I did see that we hit the 100 mark and we're already at like 125 or more. I haven't checked today. Uh, subscribers, which is way more than I thought we were going to have uh, build up over this time, especially with a, a lack of videos coming in. So uh, thank you all so much for being a part of the Retroverse Nexus. Uh, I'm going to start posting regularly like I was again, and uh, this is the first of many videos. I, I actually have a backlog of older videos that I, I recorded. I just haven't been able to edit them until now. So uh, yeah, that's coming up here soon. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and please stay tuned the 100 subscriber video and giveaway is coming up here soon. But anyway, let's roll back to uh, Shiny Sephiroth from back in June of 2024, who is about 40 pounds heavier than I am right now. Hey everybody, Shiny Sephiroth coming at you again from my work office. And you know what that means. We have one more black and white addition to the office display coming up right now. Alright, so right here we have the White Knight Batman, ready in the sketch black and white uh, format. Right here we have uh, the, the box, here's the box art, really, really cool. You can see why they would be inspired to make a sketch figure based off of that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open her up and see how she looks. Alright, here we have the fantastic figure. I mean, just really look at that detail. Uh, I really like how they use the uh, the shading or the sketch to do the, the scruff on this Batman's chin. You can also see some of the damage to his armor that they put in in the black marks. And that would make sense. I mean, certain certain lighting conditions, if you, you, know, you have armor or something like that that's damaged, uh, the light would shine off of it irregularly. Uh, overall, I just think this is really cool. Uh, we see you're here on the back, on the cape. You can imagine that there's some light shining down on his back, but everything else is pitch black. I think that's really cool. The puck that it comes with has the white knight bat symbol on it as well. You can see here with the the shading and the highlights how that uh, how that's looking. So really cool. I would have liked there to be a little bit of shading on the uh, grappling gun, but you know, very minor nitpick. Uh, it also comes with, oh, it fell off. Let me see where I put it. Found it. So, as I mentioned, it does come with his grappling gun that he is holding. I pre-equipped it right there. But we also see that it comes with the rope and the battering that is at the, the bottom of that rope. So, he would connect it to the grappling gun, shoot it out. And if you want to, it does come with this as well for more action and dynamic shot you can I don't know I don't think you can actually stick it in there um, I I don't believe that's possible but what uh, what you can do and this is what I did with uh, the previous releases of this figure is uh, you see this right here I wrap that around his wrist and then I snake the cord coming up the side so that it looks like it's coming out of the grappling gun but, I mean, that doesn't fit what I'm doing with my uh, display here. So, we'll go ahead and uh, skip that for now. But, yeah, here we go. Uh, really cool figure. Let me go ahead and pop it into the display and see how it turns out. Here is that updated display. Really happy with how this is looking. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Here we have our newest edition the White Knight. 
I do like how there's a, a bit of scaling here. For some reason, the uh, ghosts of Krypton Superman are just really tall. And uh, this White Knight Superman, he is, I mean, Batman, he is, uh, he's not as tall. Um, I just think that's a very interesting detail how maybe in the, the Ghosts of Krypton universe, Superman just, just a taller guy. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really like how this is looking overall. Let me go ahead and move my head out of the way here so we can see the, the full scope of this collection. I do have to say, <laughs> I still think that the Jim Lee uh, line arts are my favorite here. They're not McFarlane, but I mean, they're the inspiration for this entire display. And I really like how they, they turned out. So there you have it right there. There's, uh, there's your display. And uh, there's my recycling bin right there that one of my kids knocked open, revealing to me that it has been a while and recycling needs to go out. <laughs> so there we have it. I was really happy to be able to share that with you all and add that to my collection. Uh, that as far as I can remember, the only one I'm missing now is the White Knight Asriel. And in about three, four weeks time, we're gonna have to add onto that list the recently, as of this video, it was about two days ago, the recently announced manga Batman. The, the platinum version is a black and white uh, because a lot of the mangas are released in black and white. So there you have it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm really excited. Uh, the collection is nearly complete here and that's always nice to hear. But uh, let me know if you guys uh, like the black and white figures, if you guys uh, do any displays like that yourself, or if you have other things like, uh, oh, I collect all the special editions that are different colors and still have a display just of different colored uh, superheroes and toys. i like to hear about it. Uh, thank you all so much for being a part of this channel. I hope that you're all doing well on your hunts, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, everybody. Really quick, I just wanted to add one tiny little thing to this video. Here is a sneak peek at what, put me over there, what we have uh, coming up in store. A lot of backlog, a lot, and got some stuff here anyway. So here's a little sneak peek of uh, some of the updates I've done. Oh, not, not too much of that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, really excited to share with everybody uh, how this toy room has evolved. And um, yeah, thank you all for being part of the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.